Yo, what is up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to make a song like Aries. If you don't know Aries, he started out as a YouTube producer remaking uh, songs from popular artists, kind of like I do. Um, but then he started just working on his own solo music, which is really good. I recommend you go check it out. Uh, but yeah, I made a video about how to make music like him a long time ago, back when I used to use FL Studio, but now I'm on Ableton Live, and I like to think I've progressed a lot since then. Uh, so yeah, let's get right into it, shall we? Okay, so it wouldn't be an airy song if it didn't have a guitar in it, so I started out with this guitar. Okay, so for that guitar, I decided to record one long take rather than just looping the one section of the two chords because if you record a longer section, it isn't going to be the sa it's not going to be as repetitive, you know? It's not going to be the same section playing over and over again. So, I recommend when you're recording guitar, don't just record the one loop that you need. Record that loop like over and over again of you playing it, you know? Because you're going to get some variation, and that is uh, going to be less tiring to listen to. So, on this guitar, I have some compression, some overdrive. Here's how it sounds without the overdrive. Yeah, so I put the overdrive on, just gives it some texture. Uh, I put some chorus, just to give it a little bit of wobble and uh, character. Then I added a second compressor, just to make sure it wasn't peaking. And I added this EQ just because I didn't really need the low end from the guitar. And the next thing, I actually took inspiration from one of his newer songs, Ditto. And I did some vocals. Yeah. So, I just recorded all these different takes and I pitched them up. About... 12 semitones. Just using little Alter Boy. And yeah, here's how it sounds. Yeah, so that's how it sounds, and then I think it really works well with the guitar. It just adds, like, some more high end, you know, and more character. And then I added this lead guitar sound. Uh, this doesn't have any fuzz on it. Just added some chorus and some reverb. And, of course, with the EQ taking away the low end. So here's how the lead sounds. That sounds really cool. And then the last thing for the instruments is this bass. So for this bass, put some compression as always. Uh, put some overdrive. And I did some side chain with the kicks. Okay, so this is how the bass sounds. So now onto the drums. So for these drums, at the beginning of each new section, I have these two things playing. So just these two. So like a reverse cymbal and this little fill. So here's how that sounds together. So here's how these two things sound like together. So just at the beginning of each new section, I like to have that. It just adds like a lot of energy to it. And then I use this impact sound. So, all of those together. Yeah, I just thought that sounded really cool. So, onto like the more rhythm. I used this uh, loop from a Benny X kit. Here's how it sounds. And as you can hear, it's the same fill here, but on this, I put overdrive, some EQ, and yeah just to make it more loud and stand out more in the mix. So then I added this percussion loop from a Ramsoid kit. So here's how it sounds. 
just add some character. And then I layered these two snares. Thought that sounded really cool. Uh, then I added this Benny X kick. And here's how all the drums sound like together. Alright, so now I think it's time to listen to the whole track. And... Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, leave it a like. If you really liked it, please subscribe. And if you want to support me, please, please, please go check out my online shop. It's the best way you can support me. Uh, link is always in the description. i got some great kits on there, working on some more. Uh, if you need drums, if you need loops, go check it out. And yeah, that's it from me. Got another video coming up soon. And yeah, peace.